Hey, I'm going to do a quick review of this portable power station. It's the EcoFlow River 2. Um, it's got up to 600 watts output, a solar generator, you have to supply the panel yourself, um, and it charges from zero to full in one hour. So let's get out of the box and have a look at it. So this is it. It's a pretty smart looking bit of kit. Um, on the front you've got your three prong wall plug socket, car type adapter, USB-A, USB-A, USB-C. Um, these two you have to actually switch on once this unit is powered up for any power to come through them. Uh, switch it on. It's got 100% charge because I charged it up at the weekend. It's now Tuesday, I haven't lost anything. Um, it also attaches to your Wi-Fi with a little app so you can check what it's doing. So what's it like to use? Well it couldn't be simpler. You switch it on, it tells you how much power it's got, and you pick your poison. I'm just going to put a USB-C cable in there, and then plug in my phone, boom, quick charge. And while it's charging, it will tell you what output is pumping out to your device, and then the percentage of the battery inside, and how many hours worth it could charge for. You can see it's already gone down from 31 to 21 to 19 already, um, but it does seem to level out and go back up after a little while. I think it just needs to figure out what it's charging, and how much juice it needs. But it's pretty good, and that's it in a nutshell. In a minute the, this will go off, to save a bit more juice. If you were going to plug a, a three-pronged wall plug into it, you'd plug it in and then press this button and uh, it would power up whatever you've plugged in. Actually, when you plug, switch that on, it tells you how many hertz it's pumping it out at, 50 hertz. So what can this thing charge? Well, it can power a light bulb, a 10 watt LED light bulb for 20 hours. Your average 60 watt laptop for 3.4 charges uh, you can play your ps5 off of it for an hour you could put a uh, 500 watt blender on for uh, about 20 minutes non-stop it uh, powers stuff quite a lot it's got 3000 plus cycles of the lfp battery and a five-year warranty you can pretty much recharge anything anywhere once you've charged this thing up and it's only three and a half kilos when you pick it up and carry it around, so it's pretty light. The makers EcoFlow say that they use advanced BMS protection uh, that monitors the voltage, the current, and the temperature to keep your battery running for years. Um, you can power it from solar and charge it up as fast as three hours. Um, it's a pretty nice bit of kit. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. It's just, um, it works really well. Let's have a look at the app. So once you've set up your EcoFlow and connected it to your Wi-Fi, um, which you have to do through the app, um, the app is pretty simple. I boot it up and you can see your device. You click on it and it tells you, or pretty much mirrors what's on the main screen of the device on how long you've got to charge stuff. You can rename it, you can share it. It tells you the AC charging speed, or lots of information. You can set how, how long it takes to time out, etc, etc. There's quite a few firmware updates since I've had it, and so there's a new one here, so I'll do that in a little while. But it's an okay, it's an okay app, and you can switch things on and off via the app. So you can leave this plugged in somewhere and you know set your phone to start charging while you're away from it, and then stop it in a little while. If you think the phone's had enough, it's okay. Let's do a little update. As soon as you update the app, or do a firmware update through the app, you get the update logo here. And the progress bar here, up to date. Boom. All done. So we've got 100% charge. 
Again, I reiterate, it takes one hour. In fact, it took me just under an hour to charge the whole thing from completely dead to 100% on Saturday. It's now Tuesday afternoon. It still says it's got 100% and 99 hours. Obviously it goes down, it starts to go down and recalculate when you plug something in and start to charge it, but it hasn't lost any charge. 2,000 years later. So, in conclusion, I uh, can't really decide enough. I've actually got three of them now. Um, and they're pretty bloody good. The two newer ones have got a cap on this socket here. The original one didn't have one. Um, that's the only difference between them. But yeah, if you want something that you can carry around um, easily and need some power, I highly recommend these.